back to another Movie Monday. So today I'm hitting you up with two special movies. So the first one is a brand new horror movie that came out. And the second one is actually a recommendation from one of you guys. So stick tight and let's do this. So first movie, Name the Demon. Name the Demon is a really interesting exorcism fan footage film in one. Um, and I, I found it was, a, it was a pretty solid treat, I gotta say. Um, so let's talk about it. First things first, it hits you with this fact that's kind of like the Vatican or something. Like churches have just seen more and more exorcisms like accelerating over the last couple of years. I didn't fact check that. I should have. Um, curious to know if that's the truth. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, it spooks me right to begin. <laughs> so basically they're saying that more and more exorcisms haven't been happening and boom, it gets right into it. You basically have these priests who are showing up to this lady's home and this guy answers the door, her husband, and he is just like kind of unaware of it. And he's just like, like, who are you guys? And he's like, look, the church called us to come here. We heard about your situation. And he's like, we don't need the church. Like she's just unwell. Like she needs a doctor. And they're like, no, like if the church called us, it's gotta be serious. Right? So right off the bat, you get this really heavy feeling like, the husband's a bit of a dick. <laughs> like, literally. Like, you have this feeling like he's overbearing. He's just negative the whole time. He finally warms up a bit to them. They make him sign, like, an NDA or whatever. <laughs> like, you know, like, sign off this. Like, make sure you're okay with us doing this exorcism. And, like, in my mind, I'm like, okay, well, is the kid possessed? And maybe it's not really the wife, and she's maybe insane. I always play that game. If you guys have watched my, my streams, <laughs> it's all about, okay, well, like, where is this going? Um, so you're introduced to his kid. And he's super sweet with his kid, but you have that sense, too, that, like, she's almost, I don't know, like, obviously she misses her mom. Her mom's going through something serious. Um, and when they plop her in... There's these moments with her toys where the toys go off. And I felt it almost to feel a lot like Skinnamarink. And I know there's, like, people that didn't love that movie. There's people who loved it. I loved it personally. It was terrifying. Um, and you know what I mean? Like, like a moment in film where everything is just silent. And you just hear that loud noise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they nailed that. They really did nail that. Anyways, the daughter's name is Grace. Ironic. Um, and like the priests kind of meet her and they're like, okay, well, obviously you don't want your daughter in the house. Let's see if she can get babysat. And then you have this weird, like, um, like their neighbor come and basically be like, guys, like, I think she's fine. Like, she's just going through some shit. Like again, hinting about the husband. And again, this whole time I'm like, yo, this husband's off. Anyways, this movie takes you on this journey to obviously meet this woman who's upstairs and she is not doing so hot. She is literally possessed. And like in most horror movies, and, you know, just this kind of exorcist mythology, mythology, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, they talk about naming the demon to be able to cast it out. You need to find out its name, and that way you can legit release it, right? So, kind of like in The Manny Too. What a great movie, <laughs> by the way. Um, yeah, so it's basically the priests are kind of like working with that. The guy who's holding the camera is basically going through these moments of like, oh my God, I can't handle this. Same with like, there's two priests basically involved and the camera guy. And you just sense so much unease. And like right away off the bat, you know that this woman is not well. Like she is going through some kind of heavy shit. And like, she's terrifying. They do such a phenomenal job with the makeup effects. I got to say, hands down, it was really well done. Um... And, like, terrifying. And, like, her voices, she has, like, really high pitch scary voices and really low scary voices. And it's this whole, again, found footage style. It's not too shaky. You know, some people are like, oh, I can't watch those movies. Like, give it a chance. It's really worth it. And, like, again, they kind of have, like, this view of, like, okay, well, somebody puts down the camera. Well, somebody else is picking it up. And now you're going on, like, a little, not a side journey, but in a way. Like, and you really feel like you're in their eyes. Also... Just in general, they're, like, snooping around this guy's house, snooping, they're, you know, and they're going around, um, and it, they just did such a great job at building that tenseness in the film as they're going around, and it's just silent, and, like, 
you know, like when you look at a movie and you're like, I see something in the corner, I think, but I don't know. Yeah, they do a really good job at that. And anyways, the end too, like this entire movie, like it built up. It took a bit of time to build up, but it builds up. And the ending I thought was a really interesting twist. It was a twist that I won't lie, I didn't see coming. I didn't see it coming. And they hit you with it quick. And it's like one of these like short and sweet moments where you're just like, oh, shit. Yeah. And the end scene, just the end scene. I was like, oh, stop it. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to spoil too much about this movie, but it's definitely a fantastic fan footage, again, Exorcist style movie that you guys should definitely check out. Now, you ready for this? It is also a little side recommendation day because I also want to shout out that it was Stephen Pruitt's birthday over last week. So huge happy birthday to Stephen. And he had recommended me to watch this movie called Baby Blood. Mm. Have you guys heard of this film? Whoa. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to talk about a little movie called Baby Blood, which is insane. It's a French horror movie all about this girl who is working at this carnival kind of thing. She's, like, working with, like, the lion tamers. They get some weird lion in or animal. You don't really get to see it. No, you don't. It's kind of, like, first-person view on it. Um, and this thing gets loose. And, like, when they go back to the cage, there's just, like, guts everywhere. All of a sudden, there's this scene where she's alone in her little trailer. And she basically gets raped by this something. Okay? What happens? She gets prego. Again, it's called baby blood. And she is pregnant with a freaking alien. And the entire movie is this little alien in her belly who is talking to her and making her chop up people so that they can feed. What? I know. Why have I never heard of this movie? Don't ask me. I don't know why it was never on the radar. It is such a great little horror film. And again, like this movie was like one of those... You're going through, like, her, you know, understanding what's going on with her body, all of a sudden just kind of succumbing to it and, like, dealing with it, but then also becoming attached to this freaking thing. And you want to find the movie. that There's versions of it where it's dubbed. You want to watch it in French and then have the subtitles um, just because the voice is so good at the alien. And <laughs> you, you'll, you'll hear it and you'll know. Anyways, wicked deaths, wicked effects. It is all practical and it is just obscene. It is so good. Yeah. So baby blood, check it out. Thank you again, Stephen Pruitt. I appreciate it so much. You got good taste. And again, name the demon guys, check it out. It's definitely worth it. If you're feeling like getting scared. All right, you guys have a fantastic week and we'll be seeing you soon. If you're subscribed, thank you so much. And if you're not, get on it. Be a part of the fam. We'll see you soon. Bye.